So how is it going to feel immediately after you give birth to your baby? Part two. Number six, you are not ready for the initial shivers or the chills that you experience immediately after the birth of the baby. This is very, very common and you've just given birth to a three or a 3.5 kg baby plus a liter of amniotic fluid plus a placenta which weighs around 800 to 900 grams. So much of um, fluid loss, so much of weight loss from your body leads to circulatory changes and your heart actually pumped so much for the baby for you and all of the circulation has to return back to normal so you are going to have chills and shivers in the immediate postpartum period number seven sitting on your bum actually hurts if you're someone who had a normal delivery and a small episiotomy which has been sutured it is going to sting a little when you sit on your bum so what most women do is they kind of involuntarily stop putting pressure on the side of the episiotomy and tend to put their body weight on the other side so this is something which you are not supposed to do and voluntarily put pressure on both the buttocks almost equally. Number eight, you're not going to get the milky white milk immediately after you give birth to the baby. The first two to three days, you have a clear whitish fluid which is getting secreted from the breast and this is called this colostrum and this is the most, most nutritious and it is exactly what your baby needs. It is so high with nutrient, immune, immune factors and nutrients and Colostrum is exactly what the baby needs in the immediate days after birth. So do not stress over the fact that you are not secreting enough milk because you are only going to secrete milk which is sufficient enough to fill the size of a peanut which is exactly the size of the baby baby's stomach. So as the baby grows, as the baby sucks, your breast secretion is going to increase and your milk secretion is going to improve. Number nine, you may develop swollen feet. So some women may not have any swollen feet in pregnancy, but tend to develop immediately after the birth of the baby. Again, the reason is circulatory changes that come after the birth of your baby. So this swollen feet may take at least three weeks to come down and don't worry about it. It's quite common. It's going to reduce on its own. As long as you're not someone who has blood pressure in pregnancy, you don't have to worry about it. Number 10, you are going to be sleepy, tired and frustrated 24 bar 24 after a couple of days. And always remember this phase two shall pass. Thank you very much.